It appears the establishment is pulling out the big guns against Nina Turner. Uh, now, following her crushing in the polls and crushing in fundraising, Nina Turner is scaring a lot of establishment Democrats, so much so that they have asked James Clyburn to intervene in the primary coming up next Tuesday. So now uh, Clyburn uh, is an establishment Democrat. Uh, he is now endorsing Cuyahoga County Councilwoman Chantel Brown in the race for Marsha Fudge's seat uh, that was vacated by uh, uh, her becoming uh, head of the Housing and Urban Development uh, Department. So now, Clyburn, here we go. Here we go. Clyburn's trying to probably repeat the trick that happened during the uh, Democratic primary where Bernie Sanders uh, had, you know, nearly beaten. I should say he was doing really, really well uh, in the primary race uh, against all the different opponents. Clyburn stepped in, endorsed Joe Biden. And then, of course, we had uh, uh, just the Super Tuesday that was not super. Now, there's a big, big difference between then and this uh, seat. Of course, I think a lot of primary voters uh, that were swayed by Clyburn were basically swayed by the fact that people were worried about Donald Trump. Uh, and so in this case, here you have Nina Turner, who is in a very safe Democratic district that generally votes for the most part for, for Democrats. Uh, and so you don't have that fear of a Republican coming in and taking over. Uh, and so I'm curious to see what kind of argument Clyburn is going to make for Chantal Brown, especially considering how Chantal Brown and Nina Turner are both African-American women of color. So we're going to see. Uh, but now, in addition to Clyburn's endorsement, according to Axios, Brown has received the backing establishment Democrats, including Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Uh, I reported on that. When that endorsement hit, she uh, actually, Nina Turner raised a ton of money, which was great. Uh, not only that, uh, but uh, Brown also received uh, the endorsement of Ohio, uh, former Ohio Attorney General Richard Cordray and Joyce Beattie. Uh, that's Representative Joyce Beattie. Turner, uh, for her case, has earned the endorsements of Alexandria Casa Cortez, Ayanna Presley, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib. Uh, and so uh, let's see. Here's what Clyburn had to say about this, by the way. He said, quote, What I try to do is demonstrate by precept and example how we will proceed as a party. Meaning, of course, we're going to proceed with the establishment. We're not going to go with a Bernie Sanders aligned person. Now, Bernie Sanders, uh, uh, Nina Turner was Bernie Sanders campaign co-chair and was a surrogate back in 2016. So she is known as a, a, as somebody who is aligned with the progressive wing of the party. That is something that people like James Clyburn cannot abide. Understand that they despise progressives. Uh, and so here's what he also said. Quote, when I spoke out against sloganeering like Burn Baby Burn in the 60s and defund the police, which I think is cutting the throats of the party, I know exactly where my constituents are. They are against that. And I'm against that. So now we're talking about defund the police again, which I actually agree with. I think it's a good idea. And I think that if you put it in a way where you're pointing out how police are overtaxed, with the things that they have to do, right? Mental health checks. You know, that's that a police should not be doing that. Okay. They should not be playing mental health checks. Uh, they should not be doing a lot of the things that they're doing right now, and they shouldn't be militarized while they're doing it. Defund the police when you explain it and break it down actually makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately, people that are part of the establishment, well, they're okay with more police funding. Uh, and not only that, but they basically accept the right wing framing of this, which is police protect you in reality, of course. And there's court cases to back this up where the police are actually not under any sort of obligation to protect you. And so that's 
I mean, that's really what it is. But again, uh, when it comes back to that, understand that James Clyburn is definitely to the right of somebody like Nina Turner, part of the Democratic establishment, uh, and the establishment fights to protect its own. Uh, and so I think that um, that's really what it's about. It's about trying to head off a number, uh, another member of what would be considered the squad, another progressive in office. And so they've actually had to jump into this, felt like they had to jump into this in order to head off somebody that would champion things like Medicare for all, for example, uh, or you know higher wages. And they cannot handle that. They don't want this stuff to happen. Uh, they want to keep things status quo. And Nina Turner really represents a sea change as far as politicians go. Uh, and, you know, she would bolster the left wing, the progressive caucus, and that gives us more power in Congress and them less power. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.